Mahabharata, on one hand, introduces every human to righteousness and unrighteousness. One of these many questions is that, what happened to all those powerful divine weapons of Mahabharata after Kurukshetra War? Did they hide it anywhere? Does those weapons also exist in the Kali Yuga? Or they were destroyed after the war? So in today's video, we will know what happened to those powerful weapons after the war of Mahabharata. In Many mysteries are hidden in the pages of history. If you know about Mahabharata, then you must have also heard about the divine weapons of Mahabharata. Divine weapon that killed thousands of soldiers in an instant, which had the power to end the whole world. Those which changed the result of any war in an instant. It is said that the divine weapons of that era were deadlier than the nuclear weapons of today's modern era. Many mighty heroes of Mahabharata were equipped with divine weapons, but only few people used them in war. First of all, let us understand the meaning of divine weapon. Divya Astra is a common weapon which is made divya by mantras, spells. In the old times, there were two types of weapons. First were the general weapons, such as bow and arrow, gadai, etc. The second were the divine weapons, weapons that were made powerful by spells. To obtain the divine weapon, the god of that weapon has to be pleased. You must have seen in TV, serials, how people used to do austerity for years to please God. When God is pleased, then he puts a part of it in that person. Therefore, when that person chants the right mantra, then he becomes a Sastra Dwastra. Just as Brahmastra is attained by pleasing God Brahma, Pashupatastra is attained by pleasing Lord Shiva, and by pleasing Lord Vishnu one attains Vaishnavastra. Before proceeding further, let me tell you about some main divine weapons. Narayanastra, this is a special weapon of Lord Vishnu that cannot be stopped. It is the most powerful weapon among all the divine weapons. Vaishnavastra, Vaishnavastra and Narayana Astra are almost same. Only one goal can be pierced with Vaishnavatra, but with Narayana Astra, many goals can be pierced. Brahmastra, this is the weapon of Lord Brahma. This weapon has the power to eliminate even gods. Brahmishira Astra, it is four times more powerful than Brahmastra. Agnastra, the use of this weapon leads to rain of fire. The intensity of this fire can be controlled by the person who used it. Indrastra, the use of this weapon causes the sky to rain innumerable arrows. Suryastri, by using this weapon, light and heat can be produced in the same amount as the sun. Pashupatastra, this is the weapon of Lord Shiva. Destruction caused by this weapon cannot be repaired. All living and non-living things can be destroyed by this divine weapon. Most of the divine weapons have been used as bow and arrow, but it is not necessary. A grass straw can also be divinized by a mantra. Like Ashwathama used grass straw as Brahmastra in the Mahabharata. So for a divine weapon, these things are necessary. One, part of the god of that divine weapon in the body. Two, correct mantra for invocation of that weapon. Three, anything that has to be made into divine weapon. But if there is no part of that deity in the human body, then, despite of correct spell and chance, that weapon will not become a divine weapon. The same thing happened with Arjun. Despite all the mantras and learning of Arjun, he became helpless. Because after the death of Sri Krishna, part of all the deities were leaving Arjun's body one by one. But even then, the knowledge of these weapons were limited to some people. But it is said that everything has an end. In the same way, the knowledge of the divine weapon was also lost somewhere by the end of Dwapara Yuga. In the old ages, man had the ability to remember. That's why they used to memorize everything. Less scripts were used back then, and there was no need to write much to make them remember. Barring Arjuna and Ashwatthama, almost anyone who had knowledge of the divine weapon was killed in the battle of Kurukshetra. But Ashwatthama was deprived of complete knowledge of his divine weapon due to the curse of Sri Krishna. That is why Ashwatthama was not able to give this knowledge to anyone else. But Arjuna gave knowledge of Divya Astra to Vrishkatu after the battle of Kurukshetra. Vrishketu was the son of Karna. After the Kurukshetra War, 
Vrishketu went near the same river where his father Karan used to pray for hours to the sun god. Vrishketu had the feeling of vengeance and wanted to destroy every enemy of